Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be transforming myself into the character Krusty from The Simpsons. So before we jump into it, make sure to subscribe to my channel if you want to. You can also hit that bell to be notified every time I upload a new video. And if you guys are interested in seeing this look, then keep watching. Alright guys, so I'm starting off by trimming this crusty ass bald cap. Wow, crusty, I didn't even plan that. I think this is like my 10th use of this bald cap, which is probably the world record, honestly, but it's still good, so don't judge me. Now I'm just lining that inner seam with some spirit gum to attach the cap to my head, and then I'm sealing it off using liquid latex. This just gets rid of that really obvious crease line between where my head meets the bald cap. Usually I glue my eyebrows down before I put on the bald cap, but it's clearly opposite day. A great trick for getting your eyebrows super flat is to use toner first before you go in with your glue stick. This just holds some of the moisture in the brow hairs, which thins out the glue layers, preventing it from getting really thick and clumpy. Alright, now we're going right into mapping out Krusty's features. I always use eyeshadow for this step because it's super easy to wipe away with some toner if you make a mistake. The eyeshadow that I'm using is by Ben Nye, but you can really use any black eyeshadow for this step. Just about every photo of Krusty is slightly off center, so you never really see him from a straight on angle. It's pretty easy, pretty easy. <laughs> it's pretty easy to visualize what he would look like from straight on, so you can always do it that way if you want. But I just like depicting the most iconic profiles of the characters that I do. I guess I just like a challenge. As I will always say, <laughs> Keeping a reference photo in front of you at all times is absolutely crucial when keeping accuracy, and also keeping your sanity. <laughs> I get a lot of questions on the paper pieces that I use and if I make them ahead of time, and the answer is no. I always do the full outline sketch of my body first, as you guys are seeing here, and this just helps me determine which features need more attention. For example, the very tip of his mouth is getting a little lost in the curve of my face, so it's just kind of hiding on the side. And the bottom of his chin is just beginning where my actual chin is ending, so I know that I need to add some extra pieces on there to make it stand out. <laughs> Did I just make that more confusing? <laughs> to make all of my paper props, I use cardstock paper. This is about three times thicker than printer paper, so you know it's going to stand up straight. And I like to hold the paper up to the area that I need to create the piece for. This just helps me get the sizing accurate. And I'm just going to put those pieces to the side for now, and I'll attach them later. Now it's time to start filling this guy in with some paint. For all of my paints, I use the Mayron Paradise palette. I love these paints because they're just so pigmented, they don't get all dry and flaky, and the palettes themselves last forever. Well, not forever, but at least a year, and that says a lot for someone who paints themselves every day. <laughs> anyway, I'll link it below for you guys. I also get a lot of questions on the paintbrushes that I use, and honestly, these are just cheapy ones that I picked up on Amazon. <laughs> They're not specifically made for face paint or anything, but they definitely do the job. I get like everything on Amazon, actually. It's like, it's an addiction at this point. Now I'm grabbing those paper pieces and attaching them using spirit gum. So you want the glue to get a little tacky before sticking them on or else they're not going to stay put. So let them sit for about 3 minutes and then apply them. Just watching the paintbrush glide as I'm outlining is like crack to me. <laughs> Can I say that? I'm just grabbing a white mascara and coating my eyelashes, and this is just going to help blend it in a little more and keep the illusion strong. Sometimes it's tough to draw a perfect circle for the pupils, so I usually like to use something small and round to do the job for me. So I went in first with um, candy dots. Do you guys remember those, by the way? 
but um, they were actually too big, so I wound up using these little gem embellishments instead. So I'm just applying these using some eyelash glue, and then I'm painting them black. Now for the final step, I'm just plugging my nose using some balled up tissue, and I'm painting it to blend in. And this is the final look, guys. <laughs> Let me know what you think in the comments down below. If you love it, make sure to give me a thumbs up. That really helps me out. And if you want, you can subscribe to my channel and hit that bell to be notified every time I upload a new video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and as always, stay creative.